see stones have got uh, two sources you know uh, majority of the stones 80% of the stones are about say calcium oxalate stones there are finer varieties in calcium stones and remaining 20% stones could be anything of which the dominant uh, component is uh, uric acid stones so these stones are basically salts which are derived from end products of metabolism or from your diet which enter the kidney and if your kidney is um, you know washed with enough water these salts which which are derived from these sources can just get washed washed away as uh, crystals but if if there is a period of dehydration or if you are dehydrated these stones or these crystals can just settle down in the kidney and eventually this conglomeration of crystals is what eventually becomes uh, stone and as i did mention before the stones can be of various uh, sizes and uh, shapes so in short stones are derived from metabolism and diet and they are eventually transported to the kidney for excretion and if they aren't excreted with sufficient water they settle down as crystals and become stones